Hi guys, it's Daphne here again, and if you're wondering if I just wear this shirt a lot, it's not. I've filmed the last three videos on the same day back to back. So today I'm going to be doing my first book review, and I'm really excited about this because I love this book, and I finished it literally like half an hour ago, and it made me cry a lot. So I read The Truth Commission by Susan Juby. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. If it's not, I'm very sorry. I so I am going to start with the overall plot slash little itty bitty summary, trying not to give away any spoilers of this book. So this book is set in Canada and it took me a while to realize that because I thought, I mean they mentioned Parliament pretty early on, so I thought maybe like Britain, but it's Canada. The main character is Normandy Pale. She's very artsy and she goes to the, hold on I have it written down because I can't ever remember this. The Green Pastures Academy of Art and Applied Design, which is this fancy art school and her sister went there and her two best friends go there and she does embroidery and it's this whole big thing and you realize how really good she is about embroidery and she's got her two best friends who I'll talk about more later, um, Dusk and Neil. And Dusk, Neil, and Normandy decide to form the Truth Commission, and the Truth Commission does truth cavations, which is like their little play on um, excavations, because they will pick people, and they go and they ask them questions. They ask them questions about things in their lives, and this, like, big truths that they feel like these people have never discussed, and, like, it's like weighing them down, like, they feel like the people that they're asking need to talk about these things, and they're giving them like, a way to talk about them. So that's the basic premise for this book. Now I'm going to talk about characters just a little bit. So Normandy Pale is the main character, obviously. It's from her perspective, and the book is completely told in her point of view. Like, it's all her voice, and it's so utterly her voice that it's awesome because it really feels like she's talking to you. And she, I, I really felt a connection kind of with her because she's very quiet, also kind of doesn't like to talk to people, but Normandy, um, she sees herself as the diplomat of their group, like she's the one who keeps the go with the flow character of Neil and the kind of temperamental emotional character of dusk from completely just blowing up. Like, she's the middle ground. Like I said, she's the one who does the embroidery. She also writes because this is her story. The entire book is her final project for her junior year of school. Well, her 11th grade. I don't know if that's actually her junior year, but I'm assuming that's her junior year. It's her final project, and she's writing this story, and it's fun because there are actually these footnotes all over the place. Like, some pages won't have any footnotes, but some pages will have, like, three or four footnotes that are her making comments to the editor, and the editor is her guidance counselor at her school, Ms. Fowler, and just little comments about these random things, and it's like this side story about what Ms. Fowler thought of the last chapter and her response to that, because she puts it all in the footnotes, which it was kind of fun, but then part of me was like, well, I don't really want to go down and read the footnotes because it's completely distracting for me, me from the story and I want to know what happens. But it was a really nice touch, I think, overall. Back to the characters. Um, so then there's Dusk, and her real name is Dawn. She's in some ways the leader of the group. She comes up with a lot of ideas, that, and she's very emotional about a lot of things. There's some arguments between her and some other people, and she's like the really outspoken one. She, she has, she's also described as very beautiful, like she's this really attractive person. Then the third main character is Neil, and I really liked Neil. I think he was probably my favorite character out of this entire book. And Neil's kind of like this go with the flow guy. He's just a really, really nice guy. There's one scene where Neil comes and he tells um, Normandy that he's decided to go into podcasting. And I was like, yes, podcast. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Fourth character, not really, kind of one of the main characters, kind of not, is, I don't really know how to pronounce her name correctly, it's K-E-I-R-A, I was pronouncing it Kiera, but it could just be Kara or Kira, so Kira is 
Normandy's older sister, she also went to the academy that Normandy goes to, but she started publishing books, like graphic novel books, because she, she was a prodigy, um, apparently, and she started uh, publishing these books called the Diana Chronicle. You find out that they kind of paint their family in a really bad light. Normandy says that she takes all of the bad, like, silly, embarrassing things that the Pale family does and just, like, spins them completely out of proportion because in her books there's these two sides of things. There's, like, the normal world and then Diana, the main character of the graphic novels, can actually also go over to this, like, fantasy world where everything is blown out of proportion. Like, completely just... These would never, ever really actually happen in real life, and they didn't actually happen to Normandy's family, but Kira includes them anyway. Normandy's kind of upset about this because she feels like the character that is completely shown in an embarrassing light the most is her. There's also this thing that I found kind of weird that, I mean, I'm pretty sensitive to sound also, but Kira is really, really sensitive to sound, so much so that her family, like, kind of steps on eggshells around her. Like, when Kira's working, when Kira's even in the house, you don't make noise at all. When she leaves for college, and everybody starts, the whole family's like, oh my goodness, we can do stuff now. So they, like, the mom starts, like, straightening her hair and stuff, and they start, like, playing music and cooking different things, like, all this crazy stuff that they just weren't able to do when Kira was there because they were too afraid of, like, messing up her artist vibe. And so those are the main, the four main characters, and this book is a whole lot about Kira's relationship with Normandy. So I'm gonna get a little bit spoilery now, so if you do not want to get spoiled, you should probably turn this off now. Okay, so spoilers. Oh my goodness, I, I started crying, like, near the end of this book because I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe what Kira had, like, told Normandy and then what Normandy had been through because of Kira and what Kira was going to put in her next book. I feel like... Kira should not have based the character off of Normandy. I mean, I know that there's creative licenses and everything, but I feel like you shouldn't do that to your little sister. Normandy really looked up to Kira until she realized what Kira had put in her book about Normandy and how she had completely, like, taken all of her embarrassing qualities and made them these big deals in the book and just based it around of everything that Normandy had done. I thought that Kira was telling the truth, to be honest, when she said what had happened to her, and I was, I was like, this is terrible, and oh my goodness, and they need to get her some help because that's really hard to deal with, but then when Normandy starts, like, emailing with the student at the school that Kira had gone to, and she finds out all these other things, and then she goes to Kira's house, and I was like, oh my goodness, Oh my goodness, and honestly, I thought it was the creepiest thing ever when she went into Kira's townhouse and Normandy finds, like, everything's just white. It's just white. I find that, I found that really creepy, actually. And she found all those drawings of Kira's new book and how it was gonna show her with all this terrible stuff, and then she goes back to the house, and Kira was like, but I just told you all of these terrible things that I pretended to have happened to me, to get your reaction, so I can include them in her book. And I was like, but you made her cry, and she felt for you, and she was really, really worried about you, and she couldn't deal with it, and it was just kind of like eating her up inside. And I really don't like Kira as a character. But then when they all get together at the end, Hold on, the phone is I'm back, right. sorry about that. The phone rang in the middle of my video. Right, okay, so at the end, when everybody that the Truth Commission has helped uncover, like, helps them tell their truth, like Brian and Amy and all of the other people, and they come back and they help her. I started crying then too, because it was just so, oh my goodness. This is amazing because it's so- they were being so nice. I realized then how much the Truth Commission had actually helped them. And it was just- it was amazing. And they all help and they band together. 
The other thing that made me cry really hard was when you find out that Normandy actually went and lived with Neil and Neil's dad and they were all like helping her to like, you know, get back into normal life and really being a really good like family for her and how she still keeps in touch with her dad and they, they meet for like breakfast or lunch, I forgot which one, and talk about things that are happening. But, oh my goodness, this book, I think I, I rated it four out of five on Goodreads. It would probably be more like a four and a half out of five, but they don't have half stars. Just because the emotions that it made me feel and the plot and Normandy's voice and I really I loved her as a character like sometimes I get really really annoyed with um, Main characters just because they whine a little bit too much Totally not the problem here really just an amazing narration and I think that Susan Juby did a really really good job with this book So you should all go and read it if you haven't read it Which if you haven't read it you really shouldn't be this far into this video like go back Go back. Also, I want to know what you thought of this book, so tell me in the comments below, and I will hopefully respond to everything. I'm really trying to do that. And so, yeah. Bye!